Y'all better stop playing with this damn Vanderbilt team. You better stop playing. I done told you that this is not the Vanderbilt team of yesteryear. Or the year before that. Or the year before that. This is a good Vanderbilt team with a good game plan and a good group of coaches. The overall team is solid. And guess what? My Alabama Crystal Tide found that out, and the Kentucky Wildcats found that out today. Now, this is a Kentucky Wildcat team that came within one point of beating those George Bulldogs. I'm going to put it to you like that. Or two points of beating those Georgia Bulldogs. Okay? So, uh, don't y'all take Vandy lightly. I'm letting y'all know right now. All right? This is two big wins for Vandy two weeks in a row. All right? Now, I understand that Vandy lost to Georgia State. But that's in the past, and I don't give a damn about that. It's all about what Vandy is doing right now. Diego Pava has put that team on his back, and he's taken them to the promised land. And what I mean by promised land, to the winner's circle. That's all it is. This is the best that Vanderbilt has been in a long time. And I know y'all might say, well, KB, you just trying to prop Vanderbilt up because they beat y'all. No, I know. I know what I see. All right? Now, I didn't get to watch the entirety of the game. But guess what? All I care about is Vandy pulled out this win against those Kentucky Wildcats. All right? Mark Stoops, I keep trying to tell them. Mark, oh, I, keep, I keep asking y'all, why is Kentucky believing in Mark Stoops? Mark Stoops ain't did nothing for Kentucky football the whole time he's been there. All right? Now, I know it's Kalen DeBoer's first season, but that's still no excuse for my Alabama Crimson Tide losing to Vandy as, the, as, as we come into the game as the number one team. No excuse for that. But Vandy is a solid football program. And I'm going to tell you what Vandy's key to success is. Clock management. Clock management. Vandy... They put, the, these, put together these drives and keep your offense off the field. And they did that once again tonight against these Kentucky Wildcats. Time of possession. Time of possession, Vandy. 34 minutes, 28 seconds. Kentucky, 25 minutes, 32 seconds. Basically, nine minutes more of possession than Kentucky. That is their key to victory. And now that is a good strategy. Van, I mean, Kentucky outgained Vandy 322 yards to two, uh, 288. They outgained Vandy in the passing yardage and rushing yards. Not by much, but they did it. Vandy once again goes for over 100 yards in the running game with 145 yards. So, hey. They get the job done. This coaching staff has got this team on a high. I'm telling you that right now. Vandy could very well win two, three, two or three more games. That's what I give them. Two to three more games. They've been sitting, they sitting at four and two right now. They have doubled their win, uh, win percentage from last year. They was two and ten last year. Now they're sitting at four and two. I'm telling you, y'all better quit playing with these damn Vanderbilt uh, Commodores. And guess what? They're going to be 5-2 next week because they're going to beat Ball State. All right? Now, they ain't going to beat Texas the, the next week. But Vandy got a very good chance of beating Auburn. They got a very good chance of beating South Carolina. Shit. I think they got a chance of beating, shit, LSU and Tennessee, if you ask me. This is a good Vandy team. Don't sleep on Vandy in 2024 that is all i'm saying and for you people who gonna come in trolls basically who's gonna come in the comment section of this video talking about i'm just trying to prop up vanity because they beat us no that is so far from the truth i'm propping up vanity right now because they playing good football and they got a strategy that's working okay 
And, and just, just remember, before they beat Alabama, this is three SEC games in a row. They done won two of them. And, and the first one, they lost by only three points in overtime. So come on now. How can you say this is a bad Vandy team or this is Vandy is suck or Vandy trash? Because if you say that, you basing this 2024 Vandy team on 2023 Vandy, 2022 Vandy. That's what you will be basing it on. And I continue to tell y'all, you can't base one season off another season. Okay, you can't base this season off last season. You cannot because guess what? Coaches change or coaching staffs change. Players change. So every year you come into a season, you have a different team. If you watch college football, you should know that. But hey, but you want to down Vandy just because of what they have done or what, what, what they have. They didn't do in the past. That's what, they, they, that's what you're basing it on. That's what you're basing on, what they couldn't do in the past. Well, guess what? They doing it now. So y'all keep keep playing with Vandy. And I and I believe Vandy is just going to keep pushing forward and uh, keep doing their thing. Vandy week. Vandy week. All right. Texas and Vandy. I mean, Texas and Auburn. Well, I ain't going to say Texas. They ain't, I don't think they're going to be able to hang with Texas. But for Auburn and South Carolina and LSU and Tennessee, don't take Vander Week lightly. Do not take Vander Week lightly. And guess what? They went on the road against Kentucky and whooped that ass. Yeah, they whooped them. Because guess what? I think Van, they won by seven. Uh, but I, Vander was ahead, what, 17-7 to seven at one time? Yeah, they was. 17 to 7. And they held Kentucky scoreless in the first and the third quarter. Single digits in the second and the fourth. Come on now. Now that's good defense. Even though Kentucky offense ain't all that. But Kentucky, they got a good defense. They got a good defense. But hey, Vandy found a way to victory or to found a way to de defeat that Kentucky defense. It reminds you, I remind you again, this is a Kentucky team that came within one point of going into overtime with those George Bulldogs and two points, within two points of beating those George Bulldogs. So, hey, it is what it is, baby. You can say what you want to say about Kentucky, I mean about Vanderbilt, but I believe in them. I believe in them. Not because they beat Alabama, but they playing good, solid football. And that's the reason I believe in them. Hey, and I think you should too. That's it. That's it. What other reason you got to say Vanda is trash besides basing this Vanda team on past Vanda teams? You ain't got no other damn reason. You ain't got no other reason. And if you do, you ain't nothing but a Vanda hater. And who hates Vandy? But anyway, it is what it is. That's all I just wanted to talk about Vandy real quick. But y'all better stop playing with Vandy and take Vandy Week seriously in 2024.